हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल ओके इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास यू हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट असाइनिंग और एस कॉन्फिगरेशन टू आंसर कंपाउंड्स एंड स्पायरो कंपाउंड्स टुडे इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट साइक्लोफिन्स एंड द वे ऑफ असाइनिंग और एन एस कॉन्फिगरेशन टू साइक्लोफिन्स ओके फ्रेंड्स लेट अस स्टार्ट ओके First of all, we should know about cyclophanes. Okay, cyclophanes means see two phenyl rings attached through hydrocarbon chain are called cyclophanes. Observe this. See, these are the two phenyl rings, and these two phenyl rings are attached through hydrocarbon chain. Now, we know that here CH two and CH two are present. That means here. the phenyl rings are attached through hydrocarbon chain so these are called cyclophanes okay yeah next see here these two phenyl rings are present no so if we observe this we will come to know that these are in same plane okay means uh, if we observe this we will come to know that here plane of symmetry is present we know that already we discussed that if plane of symmetry is present means they are optically inactive yes as here the plane of symmetry is present this cyclophane is optically inactive okay friends you should know that means already we discussed in our previous class right all the things just like the spiro compounds and sa compounds first they were optically inactive as soon as we added the substituents or the substituent added compounds they become optically active here also the same thing friends see actually these are optically inactive because here the plane of symmetry is present okay so here we had to add the substituent whenever we add the substituent then they will become optically active okay yeah next to see next here we should know about the pilot atom see in our previous classes also we have discussed about the pilot atom okay yeah in spiro compounds and sa compounds there itself we saw about the pilot atom yeah let us see here see first atom present above or below the plane is called pilot atom see first of all we should know see this is a cyclophane yeah we had to consider this as see this is a lower ring and this is a upper ring okay and we had to consider this as one plane and this as the second plane like that just we had to consider that's it see as this is the lower ring see what is the what is there here the first atom present above or below the plane see to this ring this is above plane okay if we consider the upper ring this region becomes below the plane okay so for the upper ring these two atoms become pilot atoms okay for the lower ring these two atoms uh, means uh, for the lower ring means the atoms uh, they are present uh, above the plane so these two atoms becomes pilot atoms uh, i hope you understood friends just what we had to do means just we had to consider this as upper ring and here we should consider it as lower ring okay next we had to just observe the first atom present above the plane so for the lower ring we had to observe the upper ring so the atom present adjacent to the lower ring so here it is pilot atom so for this this is the pilot atom just we had to know this next see now we will enter into the main topic okay this is important friends okay yeah assigning or an s configuration to lower ring see in our previous concepts just assigning or s configuration is very simple of course here also it is very simple friends just we have to focus a little bit that's it see okay friends let us start yeah see we know that here the two rings were present first of all we had to observe yes here it is optically active because here the substituent is present so that it is optically active okay now we are going to assign or or s configuration to the lower ring friends okay 
first of all we will see lower ring then after we will go to the upper ring okay yeah see as here the substituent is present we should assign configuration to this okay yeah as as we discussed in our previous class the same thing friends see for we know that for this ring these two atoms or the pilot atoms okay these two atoms or the pilot atoms one thing we should remember friends we should start numbering from the atom adjacent to the pilot atom that is important okay see this is the pilot atom and we should start giving numbers to the atom adjacent to the pilot atom so this is the carbon and this is adjacent to pilot atom right of course this is also the carbon atom and here it is adjacent to pilot atom okay let us start numbering yeah from here one two three so from this side third carbon has the substituent okay let us see from this side one two three four so from this side fourth carbon has the substituent as we discussed in our previous classes just we had to see means the side from which we get the lowest number that side should be considered okay see from this side third carbon itself is getting the substituent so just we had to draw an arrow like this see one two three the same numbers i had drawn here in the similar manner friends okay see one two three one two three yeah just we had to draw an arrow according to the numbers so here we will get clockwise direction okay clockwise direction means rectus so here we have got r okay let us see one more example see here also friends yeah this is a, a means a, this is a upper ring and this is the lower ring as the substituent is present to the lower ring we had to assign configuration means we had to find configuration to the lower ring as we know that these two or the pilot rings so we should start giving numbering to the atoms which are adjacent to the pilot atom as this is the pilot atom we should start numbering from this carbon here also the same thing as this is the pilot atom we should start giving numbering from this carbon yeah see okay let us start one two three four so from this side the fourth carbon has the substituent okay let us see from this side one two three so from this side third carbon has the substituent so according to our rule so the side from which we will get means here the third carbon got the substituent so we should prefer this side okay the same numbers i have drawn here see i kept here one two three so one two three and just we had to draw arrow like this so this is a clockwise direction clockwise direction means r so rectus okay this cyclophane has the rectus configuration okay see next r is configuration to upper ring yeah see just now we saw how to assign r as configuration to lower ring right yeah now we will see assigning r or s configuration to upper ring see friends the method is entirely same friends the only difference is while we are assigning r or s configuration to upper ring if we get r means just we had to change the configuration that's it this we had to remember okay see while assigning r or s configuration to upper ring okay while we are assigning configuration to upper ring if we get the r means we should means just we had to change the configuration if we get r means we had to put our answer as yes if we get s as our answer means just we had to change so s becomes r like that see let us see example then we will understand it easily yeah see in our previous examples see the lower rings have the substituent but here see the upper ring has the substituent okay here the upper ring has the substituent okay and we know that these two are the pilot atoms the same thing means the entire thing is same friends okay let us start assigning numbers yeah one two three four so from this side fourth carbon has the substituent from this side 
one two three okay the third carbon has the substituent so we had to take means we had to select this side because uh, means from this side only a third carbon has the substituent this is just like a lower means a lower ruler means lower number rule like that lower cement rule like that okay see the same thing friends i am just i am putting these numbers here just for understanding i am putting these numbers here friends no need to draw like this we ourselves can draw like this see one two three so just we can draw like this also okay here we got clockwise direction clockwise means rectus so here we got the rectus but here we should remember one thing here we are assigning configuration to upper ring so according to our rule if we get r means we should change the configuration to yes so here we have got r see clockwise direction means r so according to our rule we have to change the configuration from r to yes so the configuration of the cyclophane is yes see we may get doubt that in case of upper ring why should we change the configuration like that we may get doubt yeah now i will discuss that okay see this is actually the rule friends okay the pilot atom should always considered above the plane okay pilot atom should be considered above the plane see in our previous examples we have observed the pilot atom so it is present above the plane so it is present towards the above the plane but see the pilot atom should always considered above the plane but here means uh, in the last example like this here okay but here means here uh, but here the pilot atom is below the plane okay here the pilot atoms are below the plane no so the configuration should be changed this is the point which we have to we must remember friends okay see the pilot atom should always considered above the plane but here it is below the plane no so that the configuration should be changed that's why here we have changed the configuration from r to yes see here means if we rotate the molecule and we if we find the configuration we will get s only see uh, already we discussed that pilot atom should be present above the plane but here in this example the pilot atom is below the plane so that just we may rotate the molecule if we rotate the molecule and if and if we find the configuration then we will get the exact configuration friends but it is a little bit uh, difficult right to rotate the molecule like that so it is very easy for us just to change the configuration friends that's why okay yeah see if we rotate the molecule and we, if we find the configuration we will get yes only okay here we are not rotating the molecule so that here we got r so instead of rotating the molecule just here we are changing the configuration right so what they said is that if we rotate the molecule and if we find the configuration we will directly get the yes so i think it is better to find the configuration and if we change the configuration i think that is quite easier okay yeah let us see one more example see here also friends the pilot atoms are present below the plane yeah see here the substituent is present so we have to assign configuration to the ring which has the substituent yeah and these two are the pilot atoms so we should start numbering from the carbons adjacent to the pilot atoms so to this pilot atom this carbon is the pilot atom similarly to this pilot atom this cor means from this carbon we should start numbering okay let us start one two three so from this side third carbon has the substituent from this side one two three four so fourth carbon has the substituent so here the third carbon means least number so least numbered carbon only having the substituent so we should consider from this side so just i have drawn this one two three here so one two three so according to these numbers just draw an arrow like this see we will come to know that this is anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction means sinister that is yes okay but here we should change the configuration because here the pilot rings are present below the plane but according to our rule pilot atom should be present above the plane so that just here we are changing the configuration so the configuration of this cyclophane is r Uh, one thing friends actually i didn't discussed in a clear manner about this because 
in a in means in my previous videos i think i have clearly explained about this friends that's why here i have explained in a brief manner i hope you understood this okay thank you friends